One of the most annoying things about building a smart home is figuring out which products to buy. Because really, you want everything to just work. I'm a longtime Philips Hue user and I've had Eufy cameras installed for about a year now. Both of these products come with their own hub. So take the Hue lights. All the lights connect to the hub, which connects to the internet basically. Which is great. I can buy a bunch of bulbs and everything connects separate from my home Wi-Fi network. The problem is that now I'm locked into the Philips Hue ecosystem, the very expensive Philips Hue ecosystem, because other bulbs can't connect to the Hue hub. Also, maybe I want a smart lock now, but that comes with its own hub. So you can see that they can kind of pile up quickly. This is why I've avoided expanding into other products. However, it seems like things might be heading in a direction where hubs will no longer be needed, and it's called Thread. So what is Thread and why should you care about it? I'm slowly building my smart home and I use HomeKit devices because it's an Apple thing and I'm pretty heavily invested in Apple's ecosystem. While Thread isn't a new technology, it's fairly new to HomeKit mainly because of the HomePod mini, which has Thread capabilities built in. So a lot of what I talk about will be centered around HomeKit since that's what I use. So Thread is a network technology. It's basically just another way for your smart home devices to talk to each other. Kind of like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are far from perfect. Wi-Fi offers good response time and good range, meaning your devices can be somewhat far apart and they'll still work pretty quickly. But Wi-Fi devices use a lot of power, so battery-powered Wi-Fi stuff suffers. Also, you can start to have issues as you add more and more Wi-Fi devices to your network. Bluetooth, on the other hand, can be lower power, but range and usually response time may not be as good. So Thread has all of these benefits without the drawbacks. It's basically a plug and play mesh network separate from your home Wi-Fi. It has excellent range response time, but with low power usage and really the more devices you add, the better. As I mentioned, I have some Philips Hue stuff and Eufy cameras, and they both have their own separate hubs to communicate through. With Thread, you basically can buy a single hub that will communicate with all your devices, no matter what brand. For HomeKit, this hub is the HomePod mini. This may change in the future with possible new Apple TVs and HomePods rumored, but for right now, you need a HomePod mini to make Thread happen in HomeKit. The HomePod mini basically acts as the smart home hub for your Thread devices. In a Thread network, this is called a border router, and it basically enables communication between your home network and your Thread network. So no matter what HomeKit thread devices you buy, they can connect to your HomeKit setup through the HomePod mini. It's important to note that not all thread devices will be HomeKit devices. So just make sure if you are using HomeKit like I do, that anything you buy has that works with HomeKit logo on it. Anyways, each thread device that you add to your thread network strengthens the network because the devices communicate through each other. So let's say for some reason you have a really long house and you place a HomePod mini on one end and a single thread light bulb on the other. If they're too far apart for the signal, then the light bulb won't work. But if you place another thread light bulb somewhere in the middle, this will enable the connection to the far bulb because they can communicate through each other. As you add more devices, this mesh network gets stronger and stronger. What's even cooler is if one of these devices fails, thread networks can basically self heal. They can figure out what devices are still communicating and route commands through. These devices are called routers in a thread network. This is how it can work for things like light bulbs that are usually always connected to power. But you can imagine if they're constantly communicating, this could draw a lot of power, which wouldn't be good for battery powered things. So there's also something called endpoint devices that don't participate in the strengthening of the network. Endpoint devices have a sleep condition. For example, Eve Home, one of the first companies to come out with HomeKit thread devices has these window and door sensors that you can buy. These are battery powered because you don't want wires running all up and down your windows and doors. To make the batteries last a reasonable amount of time, the sensors will wake themselves every five seconds to check if there's anything from the network that it should be aware of. If it senses that the door opens, then they just wake themselves up and let the thread network know, hey, I just opened. Another cool feature is called partitions. As you add more and more devices, there could be a case where certain devices are having issues communicating with one another. 
So if you have more than one border router like the HomePod Mini in HomeKit, they can automatically figure this out and form two separate thread networks so you can still control all your devices. If at any time things improve, one of the HomePod Minis will step down as a border router and just go back to being a router. So that's somewhat of a top level view of what Thread offers. As for right now and how it relates to HomeKit, well, there's some hardware involved with Thread, so you can't just receive a software update for your current devices to make it Thread capable, unless it already has the necessary hardware. Unfortunately, right now, there aren't too many HomeKit Thread devices that you can buy. The main ones I've seen are from Nanoleaf and Eve Home. Nanoleaf has a light bulb and a light strip available, and I think Eve has the door and window sensor, and Eve Weather, with others coming soon. So thread support in HomeKit is fairly new. As I mentioned, I've been using Hue, Philips Hue for years, but they're so expensive. The Nanoleaf bulbs are like half the price, and they have thread. It's looking more and more like any smart home devices that I buy from now on will have to have thread because it just has so many benefits. Let me know if there are any thread devices that you're looking forward to down in the comments. Thank you for watching.